Now we are going to start with next article and that is Wistons Meter Bridge. Actually, Wistons Meter Bridge is a device to determine unknown resistance of a given metallic wire. Already in 11th standard we discuss the resistance of a metallic wire is given by formula R is equal to rho L upon A. This is formula by which we can calculate the resistance of a given metallic wire in which we should know the length of that wire, we should know area of cross section of that wire and even specific resistance of material of that wire. But now without knowing these quantities, is it possible to get resistance? So solution is yes. There is one device by which we can determine unknown resistance of a given metallic wire without knowing material, without knowing its length and without knowing its area of cross section. And such a device is called as a meter bridge. M-E-T-R-E -E, Not M-E-T-R Generally along with device word use it is M-E-T-R But this is M-E-T-R -E means it is unit of one length. So why this name is given as a meter bridge? So Wistons meter bridge Because it work on the principle given by scientist Wistone W-H-E-A-T-S-T-O-N-E Wistone so, principle of meter bridge is nothing but Wistons network, balanced Wistons network. So, first of all, we will try to understood what is this network. So, first of all, we will try to understood Wistons network, then its balancing equation, verification of that balancing equation, and then we will discuss about this meter bridge. So, Wistons network is nothing but an arrangement of four register. See in circuit diagram, R1, R2, R3 and R4, these are the four register connected in the form of a quadrilateral. You just imagine A, B, C, D, it is a quadrilateral and in the four arms of this quadrilateral, these four registers are connected, R1 in first arm, R2 in second arm, R3 in this third arm and R4 in this fourth arm. This arrangement itself is called as a Wistons network. And when it is balanced network, then it states that yes, for balanced network, these four registers are related to each other by formula R1 upon R2 is equal to R3 upon R4. Now, what do you mean by balance with those network? So, first of all, we will discuss over the condition of balance or this balance condition. Wistos network is said to be balanced when Potential at point B is exactly equal to potential at point D. Now when potential of B point is exactly equal to potential of point D, then in case if we connect these two points by means of a metallic wire and using a device, say ammeter or suppose galvanometer. Actually galvanometer is a device to detect the current in a circuit. Galvanometer is almost similar to ammeter, we we'll discuss later. So, galvanometer when connected, then when potential of B point and potential of D point are exactly same, no potential difference is there. As no potential difference is there, no current flows through this middle branch. Suppose current through this middle branch, if we represent with IG, then when VB is equal to VD, we can say that current flowing through this middle branch indirectly through galvanometer is said to be zero. Is it clear? This is called as a balance condition of Wistos network. And when this Wistos network is balanced, that is potential of B point is exactly equal to potential of D point, that is no current flow th uh, flows through this middle branch, then we can say that these four registers are related to each other by formula R1 upon R2 is equal to R3 upon R4. Okay, accepted. This is balance equation of balanced Wistos network. But it is necessary to verify it. So let us consider verification for Wistos balancing condition or balancing equation. Now in order to verify this equation R1 upon R2 is equal to R3 upon R4 as shown in this circuit. Let us consider Wistos network consists of four registers R1, R2, R3, R4 connected in the four arms of a quadrilateral. Now in order to pass electric current through this network suppose junction A and junction C these two junctions are connected to external source of EMF. Suppose a battery or cell is used. You just imagine 
a cell of certain EMF is connected between these two junctions. These two are diagonally opposite junction points. This is a diagonal AC. So these are diagonally opposite junction point. Between these two diagonally opposite junction point, this cell is connected. And between two remaining diagonally opposite junction points, a highly sensitive galvanometer is used. Now one thing, remember, galvanometer is a device which works on the principle that Ig proportional to theta. Means if deflection exists, current exists. No deflection, no current. Remember, very very important. This is simply device to detect current. If, you, if there is a current, the deflection is there. No current, no deflection. So, you just imagine now, it's working. As soon as this circuit is completed, guaranteed certain current will be drawn from this cell. This current will be received at junction A. Out of that, suppose, I1 current, it will flow through this resistance R1. I2 current, it will flow, sorry, I3 current flows through this R3 resistance. Now, when this I1 received at this B junction, some part flows through middle circuit, say galvanometer, and remaining current, suppose, we will take symbol as I2, because resistance is R2, hence we will take symbol as I2. This I2 will flow through the second resistance. Now, this IG and I3 combine together at junction D, and combinedly, suppose, this current I4 flows through this fourth resistance. Already, we have mentioned this fourth resistance as a R4. Is it clear? Now, again, this I2 and I4 combine together and total whatever current was drawn, same current is written to negative terminal of the cell. In this way, this circuit is completed. Now, in order to verify this balance condition, R1 upon R2 is equal to R3 upon R4, we are going to take the help of Kirchhoff's second law, or that is Kirchhoff's voltage law, which we just discussed in previous lecture. Now, for, in order to apply Kirchhoff's voltage law, it is necessary to consider a closed loop. So here, for closed loop, suppose A, B, C, D, A, this is one possible closed loop. A, B, D, A, second closed loop. B, C, D, B, this is third closed loop. There are too many closed loops, out of which we will consider only two. For example, suppose for a closed loop A, B, D, A, A, B, D, A using Kirchhoff's voltage law, KVL. What will be equation? We know that sigma EMF plus sigma IR is always equal to zero. So let us start. From A to B, any cell is there? No cell, no EMF. B to D, no cell, no EMF. D to A, no cell, no EMF. Means sigma EMF is zero. Getting it? Now, A to B, any resistance? Yes. How much is resistance? R1. Current is I1. So, product I1, R1. Whether to take this product positive or negative? Negative as per sign convention. Because current flows in the same direction in which loop is considered. Middle branch. Actually, this galvanometer we have to treat as a resistance of value capital G. So, this is a resistance. Current is IG. So, product will be IG into capital G. Are you getting my point? Now, current again flows in the same direction in which loop is considered. So, minus sign. Now, remaining third branch, D to A. Resistance is there, R3. Current is I3. So, product. So, it will be plus I3, R3. Why plus? Reason is current flows in opposite direction in which loop is considered. And as per KVL, this is equal to 0. Getting it? Now, we know that for balance network, VP is exactly equal to VD. Even VP is exactly equal to VD, it implies that no current flows through galvanometer. As no current flows through galvanometer, this is the condition of balance network. So, if we replace here IG equal to 0, then we will get, here's, take this negative term on this side. Means, after rearranging, we will get I1, R1 is exactly equal to I3, R3. Equation number first. Very, very important point to be noted. Is it clear? Now, similarly, let's consider second closed loop. B, C, D, B. B, C, D, B. For closed loop, B, C, D, B. Using Kirchhoff's voltage law again. What will be sigma E plus sigma R is again equal to zero? So now, let us start. Apply Kirchhoff's voltage law. What will get equation? B to C. Current is I2, resistance is R2. Direction is same, so minus sign. So minus, first of all, sigma E. 
again over this closed loop no emf so it is zero again this is minus so i2 r2 next this is plus because current and loop direction are opposite plus i4 r4 and last one this is again plus ig into capital g and as per this law this is equal to 0 is it clear now see here again as per the balance condition when this network is balanced vb is exactly equal to vd which implies that ig is 0 if we replace here ig equal to 0 then like previous equation we will get here what will be conclusion yes tell me we will get yes now here if we replace ig equal to 0 then guaranteed i take negative term on right side so here i2 r2 is equal to i4 r4 equation number second so this equation first equation second now part is over divide equation 1 by 2 If we divide equation one by two, what will be conclusion? See here, I one R one divided by I two R two is exactly equal to I three R three divided by I four R four. Now, very very important conclusion. See here, when this network is balanced, VB equal to VD, which implies that IG equal to zero. When no current flows through middle branch, it acts as open circuit. Means no need of this middle circuit. If we remove, because no current is flows, means we can remove it. If we remove it, then it is clear that these two resistances will be in series. If these two are in series, it implies that I one is exactly equal to I two. Similarly, these two will be in series combination, which implies that yes. Also, another conclusion is that I three is equal to I four. Now, if we use this equation four, means I one equal to I two and I three equal to I four in equation three. In ratio I one and I two get cancelled, I three and I four get cancelled, and therefore very important deduction R one upon R two is exactly equal to R three upon R four. Hence proved. This is verification for yes balancing equation of Winston's network. We got R one upon R two is equal to R three upon R four, and now same equation we are going to use as a principle while studying. Wishton's meter bridge, which we are going to consider in next lecture. Okay, thank you.